Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you the new Maps application in iOS 6. And I'm running it here on the iPad, uh, but this is also pretty much exactly the same on the iPhone as well. Just thought I'd show it to you on a bigger display. So if we launch up Maps here, you can see that it immediately looks different. It's no longer based on Google Maps, and it looks quite a bit nicer. The interface has been simplified, things like that. So if we zoom in, we can see that now everything is based around Apple's own custom interface, so they choose how the maps look. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Now you can immediately see that some different gestures are supported. You can use two fingers now, and you can swipe up and down like this, and you kind of get this 3D view, and you can see Apple's headquarters, and you can even do some rotation if you use two fingers, and you can see this is the front of Apple's headquarters. Now another thing you can do is you can switch over uh, to satellite mode, and now this brings you into the pretty amazing 3D mode. I <laughs> actually crashed here, you can see it's still in beta, obviously, but we're gonna go satellite, and we're gonna zoom in here. So now we're in satellite, and this is Apple's headquarters. Now, I have about a 20 megabit internet connection here, and you can still see how slow it is. Uh, so this is a lot of data, and this is pretty intensive, but it performs pretty well, uh, even on the iPad. So if we zoom in here, and pan around, we can see Apple's headquarters, and it really looks remarkable. There's some weird things uh, that don't look quite right, and some kind of weird artifacting and things like that, but all in all, uh, it's pretty amazing. And you can see here's the front of Infinite Loop. Now there's a couple things I can show you here that are only available on the iPhone, uh, such as turn-by-turn -turn navigation and traffic, and really even if I had the iPhone here, I'd still have to go out in the car and drive around to show you, so it's not really practical. You can see all that stuff on Apple's website, and there's some screenshots. Uh, there's also a compass button here, and it realigns you whenever you hit it. Looking under here, you can also see that uh, this data is powered by TomTom, Tom. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Obviously, you can also show traffic, things like that. Uh, these are all things that are always available in the maps. And we also have a uh, satellite, hybrid, and a standard view, like you saw before. Let's also take a look at directions here. So, for example, I'm going to start at I'm going to start at one infinite loop, and I'm going to end in Redmond, Washington. I'm going to take a little trip to Microsoft. So now if I hit the route, obviously it'll t do the route for me. And it says 13 hours, 854 miles. So you can see uh, that now you can do routes on here. This is not something new, uh, but it just looks a little bit different because of the new Maps app. And of course, you can tilt up and down like this. If you hit this button down here, you can see the directions and it gives you the route and then from there you'd be able to hit start and navigate so that's pretty much ios maps uh, the new version on ios 6 in a nutshell uh, once you go in and you really play with the, the 3d mode it's pretty amazing and especially if you're looking at landmarks and stuff there you got some really good data and it looks really nice and it's really remarkable and i can't wait for this future to debut in fall i think i might actually start using the maps app on ios now a couple more things let's say you go to a specific company or a place or a restaurant or something like that uh, such as apple here now if you hit the information button uh, you see this kind of new view and it shows you you know the location and image and you also see the address and everything and it just looks quite a bit nicer now also this works with siri and siri is now on the ipad so if i ask siri something like find italian restaurants in cupertino okay one of these italian restaurants is in cupertino ca Siri will now give you these restaurants here, and you can see it looks a little bit different uh, with the new Maps app, and I can select one of them, and I can look at a whole bunch of information. It's a lot nicer than it was before, and uh, let's say I want to look at the map. It'll take me there, and like I said, it shows you the reviews on Yelp. I can hit this information button. It shows me the map up there, and it shows me the website and everything like that, and an enhanced view. So that's about all for the new Maps application in iOS 6, and there's a lot of cool new features in iOS 6, and I'll be doing a couple more videos on it, so make sure to stay tuned for those on cultimac.com. This is Michael with Cultimac, and thank you for watching.